Okay. Let's... How do you want to do this? You, we just start from that question again, or? Yes. So given given what you just described, what do you see as the security industry's biggest challenge using wireless technology? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, a lot of people in the security industry have tried some sort of wireless in the past. Uh, the challenge is that running video over a wireless link can be a challenging uh, operation. And uh, there are really not a lot of products in the market until you know two three years ago they could have done the job properly now uh, because of this reason wireless has a pretty bad reputation in the industry and that is for us really one of the biggest challenges that we're facing right now a lot of people are still pretty skeptical in running v over wireless link and clearly uh, there are some technicalities and there needs to be a level of knowledge in installing a wireless network that is very important uh, to understand and to have uh, because the network works properly. But overall, you know, it's we, we are hoping that people by uh, seeing our product, testing them also with, with small applications and then growing from there could actually, we could actually take that, you know, uh, bad taste out of their mouth and, and, uh, and make wireless another viable solution. Right. Well, presuming that wireless is made as a viable solution. It certainly sounds like it is. What do you believe is the largest growth area using wireless technology? In other words, what's the what are the most applications? Where can we really find some growth using wireless? We have seen um, probably the biggest, the two biggest opportunities right now are in education, so university campuses and lots of other uh, campus environments. And uh, their challenge is to be able to have connectivity all across campus. And a lot of time they deploy a video surveillance system, but then they have the need to add emergency phones on it. Or maybe they have the need to provide Wi-Fi coverage in a part of the campus. And uh, since you know campus environments are always in, in a growing sort of uh, fashion, a growing sort of state, it's great to use a wireless technology because you can design an infrastructure today that works for the existing campus, then maybe one, two, three years from now, they need to grow, they need to add cameras, they need to add emergency phone, and the wireless will allow you to spread out as much as needed. Uh, another pretty good opportunity is actually in the industrial sector. We are seeing a lot of uh, companies in the energy world, particularly, installing video surveillance systems. And the challenge there is trenching. They usually don't have much fiber running around their plants. I'm talking about oil rigs, I'm talking about uh, washer treatment plants and uh, any sort of uh, uh, refinery or things like that. So trenching is definitely not an option. Uh, wireless then becomes their most viable option simply because they allow them to have cameras, sensors, Wi-Fi access in different parts of their plants and clearly they can move it and uh, grow it or shrink it as, as needed. Well, that sounds fantastic. Now, given the technology, the application, the using, the usage, what is the greatest impact wireless technology will have on us in the future? Well, overall, we hope that we, by providing a better, more affordable wireless technology, we can make people's life easier. Connectivity-wise, we want to be able to provide a new mean of connectivity that will allow any integrator to actually look at this solution and, and say, okay, I need to run this video from point A to point B, now let me use a wireless technology, or at least let me consider a wireless technology. We want to make wireless a much more easier to grasp technology than what it relates today. Well, that sounds fantastic. Now with you being in the wireless industry, what would you tell a person just getting into the industry today, the wireless industry today, and what area of the wireless industry would you point them towards and why? Well, if, uh, good question. I think 
right now there is a pretty big opportunity uh, for any anyone uh, in getting specialized in wireless products because uh, there is a lot of companies out there and I'm talking also about security companies that don't really have enough knowledge or enough time to actually invest into wireless technology as much as they need it. So this opens up the door for smaller integrators or smaller companies that are actually specialized in wireless and they really know what they're doing and they have a track record of installation. They can go there and say, hey, you know, we can partner with you and help you out in deploying the wireless network. This helps happens in the security world. It happens in any sort of IP backhauling. Is happening in the cellular backhauling world. So it's really a pretty um, standard and uh, and common process. You know, big corporations can really keep up with the technology, and so they they subcontract to smaller integrators. And uh, focus and specialization on wireless is paying off at least at least until now. Well, that's fantastic. It sounds like very good advice. We've covered a lot of topics. However, what question would you like to be asked now? Uh, that is, I guess, the toughest question of all. Well, uh, I guess uh, if I can add, you know, a bit on the to the message that that um, we are trying to send out, you know, uh, wireless technology is is a great technology. Um, there is a bit of a revolution that you know it's we are launching in, into the market, and uh, the, I just want to guess make a recommendation to close this interview. You know, uh, if you're in, if you're looking at a wireless company, if you're looking at a wireless product, a very important component of this is a company that can support you in your design, in your engineering, and in your deployment. Uh, a lot of time, people just look 